Hi, in this workshop tutorial, we will show faculty and students how to access LaGuardia's ePortfolio system. Students and faculty can access the system in one of two ways through the MyLaGuardia login page or through the ePortfolio website. Students logging in through MyLaGuardia will use their first name, period, their last name for the username, and their eight digit CUNY first ID and the last two digits of their birth year as the password. Once logged into their My Guardia account, they can click on the ePortfolio icon to enter the ePortfolio system. Faculty can access My Guardia by clicking on the link for their faculty and staff login. From here, enter in your Outlook credentials. From your dashboard screen, underneath the tab for eTools, you're going to click on ePortfolio Digication. That will redirect you to your ePortfolio Digication account. Faculty, staff, and students can also log in from the ePortfolio website at ePortfolio.LaGuardia.edu by clicking on the Login button. From the Login page, students will enter their My LaGuardia credentials and faculty will enter their Outlook credentials. Students that are part of LaGuardia's ACE program will need to log in through the ACE Login page. From here, they will enter whatever credentials they were assigned from the ACE program. Once signed in, you will be directed to your dashboard screen. From here, you will have access to any portfolios that you may have created. You can also go through and create a portfolio, or you can go into one of your courses. To create an ePortfolio, click on the blue button with the plus mark. From here, you'll be able to go through and give your portfolio a title, and to also choose the appropriate template. For this example, I'll use the health signs. Once you've selected the portfolio or the template, you can scroll down and click on Create. And you will then see your pages are starting to process. Once the page is finished processing, you will then be redirected to your brand new ePortfolio. Since you just created the portfolio, when you click Publish Changes, it'll automatically take you into the ePortfolio settings. From here, you can edit your ePortfolio's title, you can also edit the ePortfolio URL. And you can also edit the permissions and share options. If you notice here, this portfolio is automatically set to private, but you can change this option by clicking Edit. You will now see that there is a private within LaGuardia Community College option and a public option. The private to me means that only you will have access to the portfolio and no one else. The private within LaGuardia Community College option means that the ePortfolio can only be accessed by people who have accounts within our ePortfolio system. The public option is when the ePortfolio is open to the world. So anyone with a computer will be able to access your portfolio when you have the public option selected. To share your portfolio with a course, keep the private to me option selected, and then where it says also share with specific groups, people, or courses, click the edit option for that and then type in the five-digit CUNY first code for your course. Once your course appears, select it. You will now see two options for the course, one for the faculty of the course, one for the students of the course. At this point now, the only people who have access to your portfolio will be you, your faculty member, and the other students of your course. From here, click on Save Settings and Publish. Your portfolio has now been published and it has now been shared with your course.